I'm Lisa, that's Dee, and this is Polly, our seven-year-old golden retriever. We recently left our Hedgenbridge Terrace and tiny patio to a plot in rural Yorkshire with a third of an acre growing space. Follow along as we adapt to a more self-sufficient lifestyle as we learn to grow our very own wildlife-friendly vegetable garden and watch as we discover the East Yorkshire countryside and beyond in our Mazda Bongo camper van. banged into my <laughs> clearing collectum. You'll soon see that I get sidetracked a lot <laughs> when I'm talking. Um, so yeah, anyway, hi, I'm Lisa. The reason why we're here, it all began just sowing seeds in our little terrace um, and we had a patio out back which was <sighs> very small, <laughs> not much light, um, but we made the most of it. The main reason, I guess, why we're here is probably because of the allotment. So um, we got an allotment a couple of years ago, but again, it is, um, or was, um, a tiny, tiny space. By the way, that's Polly, which <laughs> I'll explain the corner shame in a bit. Polly! Yes, poor Polly. That should be gone by tomorrow so when you view this that should be gone anyway um yes so <laughs> i know you're all gonna be watching her now aren't you and then we got an allotment in head and bridge that's where I, I i learned i definitely love growing vegetables and herbs and fruit and all that malarkey lots of edible goodness um but yeah again it was really small really small and I think what I was really sort of itching for was just that freedom and space to be able to step outside my front door into my own space. Um, I didn't really know what that sort of looked like, what that meant. I knew it wouldn't happen in Head and Bridge because um, it's just very expensive. <laughs> um, so we looked further afield and yeah, we found ourselves here in East Yorkshire. Uh, in a rural village, although you probably be able hear there is a road just there, and a Macadie's like ten minutes down the road. So we're not we're not completely out in the sticks. Ooh, that might be our new compost. We've got a compost bay coming. We're not building it. I'll tell you about that later. Steve brought me a a brew. Mm. So we'll have a quick look around um, I'm going to do a proper proper tour um, of the garden in the next video um, but yeah let's have a quick a quick look. The garden is just under a third of an acre not including the house and outbuildings that are just behind me on the drive 
as you can see it's a wall garden and it's fully enclosed which was one of the main reasons that we fell in love with this place um, I think after years of living um, either in shared houses flats or on a terrace street um, to have our own privacy finally um, is a dream come true The house itself is semi-detached and it's grade two listed, but only because it adjoins our neighbour's property, which was formerly a Georgian vicarage. We can see so much potential here to grow an organic fruit and vegetable garden, um, which with a lot of care and work will be hopefully um, productive, keep those fingers crossed. We also really want to make this space as wildlife friendly as possible and we're looking forward to adding ponds to the space very, very soon. And of course, one day we will be getting chickens. The previous owners, I'm told, weren't as enthusiastic about um, gardening. I think they like the lawn and um, that was the main focus. Um, so the beds are looking pretty unkempt and dishevelled. Um, there are lots of overgrown areas and broken out buildings that need repair or taking down. Um, for now, while we're waiting for warmer days, we're leaving the wilder areas until hibernating insects and amphibians come out to play. Um, and also, we really just wanted to wait to see what herbaceous perennials um, are hiding under those beds. Um, they're coming through now and it's really exciting. However, the owners before um, the previous ones I'm told were really enthusiastic gardeners and we have them to thank for um, for the established fruit trees um, evergreen shrubs uh, the herbaceous perennials um, not forgetting of course our lovely greenhouse We will do a proper a proper plot tour um, on the next video. Um, show you all the individual nooks and crannies so you can have a good old nosy. Um, sorry, I was just looking at the uh, nasturtiums. Can you see? Just beautiful. I love I love the little seedlings. <laughs> They're just so cute. Um, I think I've got a. Hang on. started them off in the little coir um, pellets and you can see the roots already coming through. Look at them, so cute. Ooh, it's like my man. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I need to pop the rest of these on and then I will be putting them outside. Thank you for watching today. Um, please subscribe, like the video and tick on notifications if you want them. And yeah, I will see you next time. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I think this is going to be a good thing. This garden has sort of freed up lots of creative space in my brain and um, I'm ready to start sharing. <laughs> so yeah, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.